So a real quick uh, explanation here. Um, I've got two functions in this persistence file uh, on SASL. I've got function update, which is every frame, obviously. And then I've got down here a uh, function on module done, which is when you unload the aircraft. Now, um, so I've got it on a, what I, what, the variable I've called it is manip in it, and that is my flag to only do it once because it's doing it every frame, but I only want to do this whole reading thing once. So if manip in it equals zero, then do all this stuff in between here, and then at the end of this whole function, I've got manip in it equals one, so it, so it does all this stuff only one time. And so what it's doing is, um, uh, Basically, uh, I've declared some variables up here, and I've got local, and uh, my variable is called prefs file. And the prefs file is the file persistence.txt, right? This is the aircraft path. So for any aircraft path, any way anybody has the directory set up, um, it looks in the folder of the aircraft, and then it looks for a, a file called persistence.txt. Uh, if it finds it, so if is file exists, this is an SL, SASL thing. If the file exists, uh, press file if that's true then what I wanted it to do is the file IO open um, for reading so it opens prefs file which is this text file it opens it for reading right so this is where I read what's on the text file and I write um, those values uh, into the data refs that I want so that's what this is doing so read line is my is my variable that I'm calling it uh, so read line on this line is file read so it's going to read the line that's what this whole section is it's going to read the line of the first line and if the read line does not equal nothing so if it reads something on that line then it's going to set uh your first data ref that you want to set it to the number that it reads on the read line else you want it to set to zero now what does this look like let's look at um what it looks like here that text file so you get an example um, we pull it up, pews, um, where is it, there it is, uh, of course it doesn't have anything there on the line, um, let's look at the other one, these are all a bunch of test files, they may not have anything, there we go, so it reads this first line, this first line just simply says one, and I've got my legend here, see how it says pilot hide is line one, uh, line two is the software throttle stop, uh, and it's it's one. These are the last values. These are the last values that it's got. So line one, line two, line three, line four. So line four was the payload weight, and the last value that it saved was that. So basically, it's re it's reading each one. Line one, it reads pilot hide, and it and what what I want to do is I want to set pilot hide to the number that it reads on the read line, uh, and if it doesn't read anything, then I want to just set it to zero. So same thing with line two, um, software idle stop, read it to the read line if it doesn't read anything to set it to zero. So that's what I do for every line. This is the read function and this it's setting the data refs to, um, to that number. And then uh, else, uh, it couldn't find the persistent uh, persistence.txt file. If it couldn't find the file, if the file didn't exist, it, it's gonna make one and it's gonna set all these deals here to the defaults that I say, right? And that's, this is, these are the defaults for each one of those data rests. And that's end, and I make sure it only happens once, so I set the flag to one, and then I end and end the function. That's how I read and set those data rests to what I want. Um, now, how do I write that text file at the end? So function on module done, uh, same deal. Um, I have the thing, and I, I have another flag that says save success false. And the save file, I go ahead and I, I uh, call save file um, IO open as a W, which is writable, right? And so then when on module done, which is basically when you get off the aircraft or when you change aircraft or that aircraft is done, it's going to write the save file write is how I write uh, the first line, right? So it gets pilot hide. It gets what the current pilot hide data ref value is. And it's going to write it to the first line. And this slash n right here means go to the next line, right? And then it's going to get software idle stop, and it's going to go to the next line. And it's going to get and write uh, door hide, and it's going to go to the next line. It's going to write all those values out. And then you saw how I had this legend underneath um, 
there's the legend. Well, I did that by right here. I just established it. So I just made another line after this last one. I made another line that just says legend, and then that line, next line, says this. These are all just uh, strings, right? Just text. And then at the end, it's if save file, then save success equals true. And then I just do this because I like that to be in the dev window so I can see what actually happened. And it's, it also ends up in your log.txt that the persistence file saved successfully, or it didn't. And if it didn't, it just says that you can make it save whatever. And then save, you, you can't forget to close the file at the end so that it writes. It writes, and then it closes the file, and then you're done. And so that's a successful persistence. It's real easy. Um, you can take this and uh, kind of cut, paste, and make your own if you're using SASL, or you can rewrite it in whatever Lua uh, format uh, that you're using. So hope that helps. Thanks.